Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of The Age of Decadence. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today, because, well, my voice is all better, I'm, my throat is no longer collapsing in on itself, as it seemed to be the case at the end of the last episode, but uh, I'm also, I've also decided what I'm gonna do in regards to my money, and in regards to my skill points. So I was considering uh, increasing my alchemy up to two, so I could be able to create some healing solves. Uh, that would save me some money, and I would like to save some money, where is it, there it is, because I wanted to buy a blue steel armor that a guy in here sells, that imperial trader I think it is, or that, no, actually, I think he's over, he's over here, uh, the armor trader, yeah, but that costs 4,000 imperials, and we're still a little bit far away from that. So what I've decided is, I don't want that, because we're gonna get a badass armor later on in the game, and I would be spending a huge amount of money on that, and I don't think that's good. Uh, so what I'm gonna do instead is, um, I am just gonna throw this shield away, for now, and I'm gonna buy a new one. First things first, let's go here to the shield trader, he's gonna sell us a nice shield, and let's have a chat with him. What can I do for you, he asks. Well, do you have anything special? I most certainly do, says the trader with pride, producing a large metal studded shield. It looks old and dented, yet surprisingly solid, as if the dents only highlighted the shield's indestructibility. It belongs to Quintus Sabellius Barrow, called the Invincible. To say he knew a thing or two about shields wouldn't be saying half, the th half of it, and this one here was built to his very own specifications. Try it! See, it's lighter and not as bulky. Makes all the difference, doesn't it? It's of the hood and resin. That uh, resin? Resin? Mm. That's why it looks this way. Neat little trick, huh? Yeah, what happened to him? Well, stabbed to death in a, war a warhouse. Best way to go, if you ask me. Well, how much for the shield? Five... well, alright, four hundred. Trust me, it's a fair price. <laughs> it's a nice strategy. Uh, yeah, let's pay him. Oh, thank you. You won't regret it? No, I don't think I will. I really don't think I will, because look at this shield! Not only does he have that those, those nice things, but it is considerably better than the crappy one we have. Way better resistance against critical, better than ours. The versus range is also way better than ours, so ours was really not a good shield uh, for that battle. Uh, and armor penalty is also pretty amazing, so you know what? I think I'm gonna use it. To hit chance penalty is 8, though. I think I'm gonna use it all the time. Let's see. Well, we'll see how things go. This one is nice. I like it, but this one seems better. This one seems better. The helmet, though, yeah, that was that was a good thing. Uh, the shield served me well. Not against the rangers, but it served me. It served me well. So let's sell this crap. Let's sell it to him because I might as well. And uh, let's also sell uh, the manica blue. Should I? Should I sell it? I mean, the thing is, I don't think I need the money. So since I don't need the money, and it's not gonna be that expensive, how much blue steel is it gonna give me, though? 3.7. I think. Well, I need to see how expensive the blue steel is going to be to decide whether or not it's the best, the best course of action to sell it. I think it's going to be more expensive to buy the blue steel, just because, just in, just in, in, because we we are selling stuff rather than buying it, or because yeah, because we're buying stuff rather than selling it. So let's see. Do you have any blue steel on you? He probably doesn't, does he? Nope, he does not. Well, we can judge from the steel, from the actual steel. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So if I bring this up to one pound, that's 2,749. Oh. Hmm. I... 40... 64... What is that? Is that... Hmm. Hmm. I don't know, it's pretty, ex pretty inexpensive to steal all things considered. It's just that... Hmm. Kind of... I don't know, I'm gonna hang on to it for a little while longer. We don't need the money. If we need the money, well, I'm probably, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how much money we're gonna gain if we become, oh, he's running. Uh, if we become the, the champion of the arena. For now, I'm just gonna go back to the healer, 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 healer. Yeah, I missed the H right there. It's the thing I do most of the time, and I hope you guys don't mind that too much. I, the H's at the beginning of the, of the words are sometimes. So, healer, hi, hello. Hello, without the H. Yeah, you looking well. Yeah, sure I do. Fix me up for 100 Imperials. Yeah, you thief. You thief. You're just, yeah. Well, at least I'm leaving, so that's a good thing. Uh, <laughs> paying for my life, I guess. Yeah, let's get out of here. Let's go back to the arena. Because we have stuff to do there. And uh, hopefully... Yeah, we're still good enough in terms of money. It should be okay. Let's see my... Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to go here to the Imperial Guard and dropping all my stuff. Hopefully it's not going to be too bad. 
hopefully it's not gonna disappear. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, I think there's a way to store your stuff in, in like if you hire a, uh, if you hire a, um, a, a room in the hotel or something. But I don't think I should be spending that kind of money to be honest. Let's drop these. I don't think I'm gonna need the chart. Is it? Was it patched out? I think it was patched out. Yeah, it was patched out. It was a bug. You guys remember that? Um, oh, by the way, that was a real bug today when I started the game. The Steam said there was no executable, and I didn't restart Steam. I think the Steam it was Steam having problems with the game. But I, I the executable is there, and I launched the game just fine. I'm not connected to Steam right now because I'm playing on offline mode. The game doesn't have DRM, but yeah. Anyway, um, let's go to the arena. We are a little bit lighter. Uh, we are not prepared. We don't have poison. Well, the reason why I don't have poison is because I think the only... I think I said this before. Is the only place to go to buy poison is over there. Uh, but for that, we need to go to the slums. And you know what? Yeah, let's forget about that. Let's save our good friend Milchitz. Maybe he's gonna give us money. He's probably not. But, um, yeah. Let's go in there. And let's have a chat with the guy. You hear the sound of a heated argument coming from a nearby house. Yes, I do. Let's go inside. Uh, he owes me money. It's harder to collect if he's dead. I'm sure he does. Now I'll get paid first. Yeah. If you ever want to get paid, let's find out and attack them. Okay. So let's see what happens now. Joy of joys. I am already poisoned. And I'm already down. That, that was amazing. That was a great, fantastic start. Let's hang it in there. These guys are going down with a quickness. Don't you guys worry. Let's focus on this guy's arms. That's what you get. That's what you get as well. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Things, well, it, it, they were off to a terrible start, and, uh... Yeah. <laughs> this is a terrible battle, isn't it? I have not been able to, to do this, but I will. I definitely will. I definitely will. Not this time, though. Just gonna kill this guy very quickly. Man, that was a nice amount of damage right there. Can't really move, but I need to. I need to. Now, this guy... Yeah, I probably should have stayed back. And the poison and the bleeds. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Well, let's attack this guy twice in the face. At least I'm gonna injure him and leave a scar. And he's gonna kill me. He's not gonna kill me, though. Nope, I dodged that. I blocked that. Oh, I blocked that as well. That's what I need. It's just need blocks. You try to get up, but you can't. Yeah. And it's death. Well... Uh, let me try that again, and we'll see how things go. Okay, well, I still haven't hit this guy. This guy apparently had a bow, and uh, I dodged that attack. But uh, I'm down to two, uh, two health. Uh, and Mishia is standing over there like a coward. Um, uh, I just killed him, and he attacked me and dealt three damage, and I was at... S how much? Oh, no! That's six damage! Yeah, I was better. Uh, but I am not, now. I am not. So what I need to do is kill him. The problem here is that I... Yeah, I don't know what he's gonna do. He's gonna kill me. He's just hes just gonna kill me. I'm gonna work on his arms. And maybe knock him down, hopefully? Oh, that's bad. Oh, I survived that. That's really good. Now, the problem here is that... It... Hmm. Let's see. Start working on his arms. Make sure that he doesn't hit me because he will kill me. At any moment now. That's what you get, and he's gonna kill me now. <gasps> okay, so this is actually quite good. He's gonna be able to attack me if he goes there. So if I just, I just need to knock him down. Come on. Oh, he's gonna kill me now. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That was a good. That was a good run. That was a good run. It's now my third try, but I don't think I need more. I don't, I don't think I need more blocks, so let me try that and I'll kill this bastard. Okay, well, uh, it's a little bit be <sighs> Well, it's a little bit better. I'm blocking his stuff, but it's a little bit better than before. I think this is a good strategy here, this situation. If I keep blocking him, I should... Oh, he's trying to move away! And I didn't block that time. That is very bad. So, let's attack... What does he do? Minus damage, right? Low damage, yeah. Let's see with a regular attack. See what kind of damage I can do here. Kill him. Okay, there we go. I don't usually use regulars. But that worked. That act, that, that, was, that was not good. 
Whew. But yeah, this battle is tough. You need to be lucky. You know, the the thing I needed to do, and this was actually my first uh, su successful attempt at killing this thug before anybody else. The thing you need is for him to die in three or four hits. So I just went with the head and just attacked him and killed him uh, because he will poison you and just bad. So yeah, you need to survive that first round, that first time you are ambushed, and then kill him the two remaining uh, remaining attacks. Which is kind of tough, and then the, this guy is problematic, but but I survived, he sent me down, and I survived that, so yeah, it was pretty good. Um, it was pretty good, it, it's not as terrible with a, t with a tower shield, definitely not as terrible, and uh, I'm kind of injured, but that's okay, everything seems to be alright. Let's uh, press tab, see, let me also save the game just in case terrible things come our way, because I don't know what Milshades is going to do. Um, I don't need those. I need something made of steel. Uh... Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, it's good. Transfer. Uh, these guys don't have anything good, though. All of that for nothing good, huh? Well, this guy has that. Might as well bring it. And some Cardas. Yeah, this, these guys in the ranged attacks. Oh, boy. Well, hopefully we'll be better protected for the future. I'll take that short bow and this made of iron. Not interested. Not interesting, but I'll take it nonetheless. Because, I mean, I should probably take a bunch of this stuff. Just sell it, because we're going to be able to sell most of this stuff, so it's all cool. Let's just, yeah, make them all naked. Don't enjoy the sight, but whatever. Let's see what Milshitz has to say. I don't know how to thank you, says Milshitz with relief. Well, you can start by not trying to kill me as much, and by not trying to rip me off. My fourth thief's reputation has increased. Of course it has. You can pay me for my trouble, and, and we'll call it even. Tertius, you know I love you like my own brother, but if I had my, any money... Don't you think I would have given it to the 40 thieves? You don't mess around with these guys. Yeah, I thought you had something big going. I did, I swear to you, but my partner screwed me over. I know, I know, I had it coming, but still, how is it fair? I had 2,000 Imperials set aside for you, the bastard took them. I told him that it's your money, but he laughed and said that if you want the money, you can go and get him from him yourself. Yeah, let's see if I can I get this straight. If you, if I go with you to your ex-partner and knock some sense into him, I get 2,000 Imperials? Yes, of course. It's your money. 2,000 Imperials? I don't believe that's a thing. Or either that or that guy is gonna be mean and bad. Okay, I know it's my money. I just want to be, to be sure that the money is there. Because if it isn't, I'll get very upset. Do you want me to get very upset? Why would it, I, I lie to you, Tertius? Well, because you don't know anything better. No, uh, let's see. Yeah, because you're a fucking, a fucking liar? Um... Uh, yeah, anyway, let's get my money. No, let's not get my money! You follow Milshitz to a house in the trade district. Judging by the state of the house and its location almost on the border of the district, its owner has little left other than his name. It's the house of Gaius Cornelius Varus, not the noblest of names, but a title is a title. What title? Gaius? I suppose. Well, it's another ambush. You know, Tertius, you definitely do have trust issues. Why would I want to ambush you? Why indeed? Why indeed, Tertius? Oh boy. Varus is an old man. He has two sons and one of or, or one or two servants. So if he decides to be unreasonable, which is something I can't control, he'll have to deal with his sons and servants. Nothing you can't handle, I'm sure. Are we good now? Uh... Yeah. Knowing you, I need an hour or two to get ready. Wait here. Okay, so it's good that... Okay, it's pretty good. Where are we right now? Oh, right at the entrance. Okay, it's all good. It is all good. You stay there, because I'm going to heal my face. 2,000 Imperials, that's amazing. If he gets me that, those, I'm going to be able to buy blue steel, blue steel armor. That is really awesome. So, what now? 100, that's fine. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be able to, because I have that much, and I need to sell my stuff as well. I need to repair my stuff. Man, this is this is looking good, actually. Meal shades as, troubling, as, as troublesome as you are, you might redeem yourself. Well, I don't know. I, the game has beaten me, beaten me in the butt too many times. I really don't know if it's if it's gonna be any good. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, guys. Let's see. Trade my stuff. I'll sell you all this crap that I don't need. Get some money back. Actually, it's nice money. Nice amount of money right there. Hmm. Enjoying the sight of that nice money rolling my way. Uh, let's see. So sell all this. Trade. Yep. Yeah. 2,662 uh, gold coins, or imperials, whatever you want to say. I don't know if they're made of gold. Could be pyrite or copper or whatever. It kind of looks looks like gold, if you make it shine a certain way. 
Anyway, let's get in there. Are we healed? We are. Uh, that was a tough battle, but not nearly as tough as when I tried it the first time. Not nearly as tough. That the weapon really did us good, especially against the archer. Especially against the archer, because I don't think I could attack with the Asta. I can't attack diagonally, can I? No, I can. I can. Yeah. But this one is not a Asta. It's a. I don't know what it is actually. It's a skewer. <laughs> it's a skewer. That's not a name of the weapon. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, uh, I'm just preparing myself right now because. Uh, I just came out of a battle. Just came out of a battle. I'm looking at Milshits right now. He's looking like, mm, I am gonna cut off your beard. I am just. You're gonna. You're not gonna like what happens to you if you if I don't have at least a hundred in, at least fifteen hundred Imperials. You need to. Get, I need to get up to four thousand. I need that. You, mm, I'm gonna kill your ass and sell it. No, I'm gonna first sell your ass and then kill it. Yeah, that's good. Anyway, Milshits, are you ready? Yeah. You first though. Milshit smiles, opens the door and goes inside. You follow him. Have you come to beg? Asks an old man standing near a dinner table, his face instantly turning red. It's too late, you ruined me, but I'll get my revenge yet. I sold your dad to Lavier. I've lowered myself to do business with the likes of, ye of him to ensure that justice will be served. See? Didn't I tell you he, had a he has money? Sells Milshit cheerfully. You told me that he owes you money. It seems, that if, uh, it seems as if it's the other way around. Let's not split hair. Uh, you were ready to kill or, or for 2,000 Imperials. The money's here. Get to work. Ugh. And what do you get out of it? Don't worry about it. I'm gonna kill you both, you know that. One way or another, I'm gonna kill you both. Murderer yells the young... Yeah, first I kill the old man. Murderer yells the youngest of the Lord Varys' son. He grabs a sword from the wall and charges at you, swinging it furiously. His brother follows suit. Lord Varys starts winding up a crossbow. With shaking hands, the servants wisely disappear. Clearly, they are not paid enough to defend their master with their lives. Not much of a choice now, but kill them all. Is there. Yeah. Well, the crossbow is going to be the issue here. It's a good thing we have our tower shield. They are not issues, though. These guys are pathetic. What the hell is meal shades? God damn it, that guy. Making murders and all that for what? For what? Ugh. Anyway, let's start. I don't know who's gonna have the crossbow. It's gotta be that guy. It's kind of blocking the path. So, let's see what I can do about this guy here. With uh, he doesn't. They don't have armor, so they are going down fast. They are going down fast. Let's keep working their face. Oh, it's that guy. Ouch! I am bleed. Damn you! He didn't shoot though. Did he shoot? I don't think he shot. That was not good, man. That was. Knock. Oh, I didn't kill him. Mm. Well, I walk into the wall and I kill him. And that's what you get. Yeah, this this should work. Although I'm z dealing zero points of damage. Aha! That's what you get, dumbass. I'm taking bleed damage, but I'm not gonna worry about that guy unless he makes me bleed more. I'm gonna run away from him a little bit because I want that guy gone. Because that crossbow kind of worries me. Kind of worries me a little bit. Let's go for two fast attacks here. Oh, he's Lord Varus himself. Who the hell is Lord... Wait a minute. Didn't I kill Lord Varus already? Or... Mm, apparently... Mm, I don't know. Anyway, doesn't really matter. He's dead one way or another. Uh, so... Let's go with two regular attacks, because it's really... Oh, 13 with a critical. And down goes Lord Varus. And this guy came to me. Mm. Come to me, my son. You are gonna die one way or another. Your life is spent here. I could kite him around, but I, I don't know how much damage is going to do to me with that weapon. Well, three and a block. That's good enough. That's a dodge. Good for you, man. 98% dodge. That is pretty awesome. That guy. Okay, let's see what happens now. A block and another block. I remind you, I only have five block there, but it's enough to kill all these bastards. When the fight is over, Milshitz walks, walks towards Lord Varus, slowly bleeding out on the floor. He crouches next to him and whispers something in the dying man's ear. You don't know what Milshitz said to him, but Varus nods and signs some document. His breathing becomes heavy. He labors hard, but he has too much blood in his lungs. He coughs several times, then lies still. Milshitz stamps the document with Varus' signet ring and puts it away. Then he searches the body, cutting... Yeah, there's the money. Uh, cutting a heavy leather bag from his belt. He weighs it in his hands before throwing it to you. At least 200 Imperials, as promised. You lied to me. I may have skipped some less important details, but let's not dwell on the negatives. You were well compensated for your trouble. And what did you get? A title, what else? You're looking at the Lord Milshades of the Corneli. 
He pours himself some wine. A toast to new beginnings. I'll send for you once I've settled in and get and got the affairs of my house in order. I have a feeling I'll need your services again very soon. I thought you got what you wanted. What? This hovel? No, no, no. Whoever thinks so doesn't know Milshids. He pauses and corrects himself. Lord Milshids at all. Hmm. He played his cards well. I didn't. I wasn't given a chance to. Uh, I wasn't given a chance to kill him, but I wouldn't kill him. He's my friend now. As Lord Milshids, I have a powerful friend. That that was well played. That was well played. Uh, and the money is gonna do us very, very, very good. It's gonna be amazing. Just gonna take all that we can. Noble clothes. Don't need these, but mm, I probably don't need these as well. Don't want to take arrows. You stick those arrows in your butt. Also, steel. Mm, yeah, we're not gonna need the steel anymore. Cause we're gonna get ourselves a blue steel. Oh, these guys have had, had, had some powerful weapons though. We're gonna get ourselves a blue steel Lorica segmentata. I think it's a Lorica segmentata. I've never seen that armor. It's. Hey man, you you look you're looking nice, my man. You're looking nice right there. Look at him. Look at him and his body guy. I'm gonna just stand here. Stand. I can't. I can't stand correctly. Can't look this way. Mm. Well, can I do it like this? Yeah. Look at. No, that's. That doesn't look right either. Eh. What? Whatever. It's all cool. Can I go upstairs? Can't go upstairs. Yeah. This hovel indeed. Oh, he's got a portrait over here. What is that? What the hell? What kind of portrait is that? Were they portraits painted like that back in the day? Because we don't really know. Do we know? I don't think we know. I. I don't think we have any surviving painting from back in the day. They were all they all disappeared, so it's really up to just reading what the descriptions and all of that from from paintings back in the Roman times were. I don't know. It's, I I never studied that actually. It's kind of kind of a mistake. I'll look that up though. I will look that up. Um, but anyway, we got we got we got we're off to a great. I'm I'm really glad that we're in this position. Let's see how much the doctor is gonna. Well, um, yeah, hopefully not a whole lot. Uh, so 16 pills. You are crazy. I need. I'm not. Mm. The problem is I want. I don't. I'm not gonna always have a doctor right by me. So I want to save the uh, healing supplies as much as possible. So let's see if this girl here um, regenerates her supplies. Cause if not, and I don't think she does. No, she does not. So yeah, that that's that's that. I think I need to pay money to heal myself. Cause I'm gonna keep those around for just. A bad day. I'm gonna need to increase my alchemy either way, so I... I don't know. Let's go with that. A few stitches here and there. Fix me up. Thank you so much. I'll see you later. I received a huge amount of money, folks. This is really awesome. This, I'm gonna receive more money, though. This is really, really awesome. Let's get our hands in the best armor. Not the best armor. We're gonna get best, better armor later on. But we have... We are very rich at the moment, so it's like... I am just gonna... I'm, we're gonna be the champion of the arena because of this armor right now. Uh, so where's this? Uh, nope, no, not that. Where's this armor trader that I hear so much about? Save the game there. Uh, so, do you still have that blue steel armor? I knew it would take a shine to it. Got 4,000 Imperials? Yes, I do. Wear it proudly. It cost you a lot of money. Yes, it did! Yes, don't need to rub that in. Shut up. Hound bound. Hunter bound. It's... It's pretty good. Damage redu reduction of 10, that's pretty amazing. Armor hardness of 85, that is pretty awesome as well. Maximum action points, just enough for us. Armor penalty is better than the one we are wearing right now. And the sneak penalty is, zero, is 2, which is close enough to 0. And the hiccups are strong with me right now, I don't know why. But, man, this thing. This thing right now. Blue steel armor. We have blue steel helmet. We have blue steel armor. We also have uh, a shield that looks like blue steel, but it's made of, of apparently made of uh, wood. And we have a steel skewer, the best weapon in the game. I am led to believe only the meteor. I think only the meteor uh, weapon is better, but this one is very good because I don't think we can craft this. It's a special weapon, so I think I'm not even the meteor is better. So yeah, there we go. We got ourselves. A really really powerful armor not the best one in the game I am led to believe I have never seen the best one and I know what it is I think I've said it in the let's play but I'm not gonna say it right now because um, I don't want to spoil it for you guys uh, so let's just sell all of our crap this guy is looking very old all of a sudden why why are you so old look at his head and balding head I mean, anyway uh, let's see sell that sell that sell that sell yeah none, none of this is good so let's just sell all this crap 
Is this expensive? It's kind of expensive. I don't need it. Um, I'm gonna keep this around. And uh, there's more stuff that I want to sell. I know. I know what I'm doing. I think. Uh, let's sell the iron. Sell... Yeah, let's... I don't need this. I don't need the iron. I'm gonna craft anything with iron. I'm gonna fix anything with iron. So it's kind of pointless to carry it around. I think weapons degrade, though. I don't think it, they do. They might, though. Do they? I don't think so. I Lately, I haven't seen any degraded weapons. So, yeah. Let's keep going. Um... It, it makes sense if you broke a weapon against tougher tougher armor and stuff like that, but I don't think that's a thing in the game. So what I'm going to do right now is we're going back to the fort. We're going to pick up our stuff from there. Hopefully nobody took it. I don't think they, they do that. Maybe if I leave the area or something, but I don't think so. Let's look at our inventory here. I'm taking... No, not that. I'm taking the steel. Should I la leave it behind or should I take it with me? Yeah, should, let's take it with me. Uh, the meteor as well. I think we're good where we are. I'm gonna sell this, although the blue steel there is pretty awesome. I don't need the money, so I might as well destroy it. And, uh, yeah, well, yeah, yeah uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll keep it around for now. Let's look at our money situation. Almost a thousand. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, I didn't know we were gonna get that much money. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna keep my skill points at the ready. We have a lot of skill points. We can bring that up to seven. That's gonna save our ass so much. I... The problem is I want to have enough skill points to level up uh, my lore. So, well, at this point, I can use... Yeah, at this point, I have enough combat skill points to not worry about the general ones. So let's do that. And let's get ready for another battle in the arena. I don't know if this is going to go well for us, though. Uh, don't remember. Was it the guy that paid a lot of money? Da don't remember right now. Because we kind of bound off to another place. That was a good investment, though. That was a really good investment. I didn't know about that, but it played out very, very well. So, Arena Master, ready for the the fight? Oh, it's the Ordu. Uh, well, I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Not sure if I'm mentally prepared, though. That blocking working right there. It didn't work the second time. I actually, it actually did. Uh, but, yeah. Okay, so... Should I stay here? Should I move back? What do you guys think is the best idea now? I don't know. Um, let's move. Let's see what he does. Okay, so he's gonna stay at arm's length, and I'm gonna keep blocking this guy. Hopefully, I somehow I think I think bows are easier to block. Somehow I don't know if it's a thing in the game. Oh, that's bad. Hit your friend. Oh, that's worse. Nope. Okay. Uh, that's really bad. Well, it's, it's, I, hmm, I don't know how many arrows he has, but I'm just gonna have to work on this guy's face for as long as I can. I am blocking things. I am blocking things. Oh, this guy only attacked once? How the hell did I, oh, nice. He's dodging, though. That's not nice. Okay, so if he goes down fast, he goes down fast. I, that was nasty. Dented my shield as well. Did he take damage there? I don't think he did. Okay, what? Why did, he, why did he move? Is he out of arrows? I hope he's out of arrows. Maybe he's always trying to position himself a little bit better. Okay, so yeah, this armor is working its wonders. And I'm... Yeah, if it weren't for that attack... If it weren't for that attack, damn it. Yeah, I might kill him now. I don't, though. Yeah, four damage. It's okay. I'm gonna have to spend some money anyway, so it's all fine. He's not out of arrows, though. That's gonna be a little bit of an issue. But this guy's out of health, so that is not an issue. Ah! He's out of arrows! Ha <laughs> ha! That's what you get, bastard! Get, come, get me! That you get, that's what you get. Okay, so I, this is, this is my battle right now. I'm just gonna stay here. Oh, no, apparently I'm not. Uh, be careful about the dagger, though. The daggers are quite problematic, so I'm just gonna do this and move back. Because it's not gonna deal any damage to me because my armor is badass. I'm just gonna attack his face. <laughs> that's... That's nasty. How the hell does he do any damage? It only does damage when it crits. So, yeah, let's keep doing this. Going for the head. And then he's just gonna... He, he doesn't enjoy that. He should, he should run. He should bleed. He should... Yeah, this is a fight to the death. There's no... There's no bleeding. There's no yielding here. And this guy certainly... I wouldn't... I wouldn't yield. Oh, I wouldn't let him yield. I should have... Yeah, I should have moved away. Ah, well. Gonna move away right now. Although, if he doesn't... Yeah, I might kill him right now. Yeah, let's kill him right now. No, we dodged that. Good for you, man. 74% dodge. It's good. It's good. Stop attacking me. I want to attack you in the face. 
and kill you. There you go. Death comes to people with pointy hats. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. He's got a recurved Ordu bow, which is pretty awesome. And some armor that is probably pretty awesome and expensive as well. The crowd is going wild, and we are about out of time, although this is... Ooh! This stuff is very heavy. The, the armor... Mm, I should have left my stuff back there. I should have... I'm gonna drop this, because it's crap. I'm gonna bring this, because... Yeah. Well, that is that. That is that. We got a bunch of stuff. Let's get out of here. And, uh... Let's see what he guys has to say. Yeah, 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 I want to leave the area. Well, 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 you are now a member of a very exclusive group, Tertius. There are very few fighters of your caliber, and to be honest, I've never thought that you'd make it this far. Well, I'm glad you did, of course, because things are just about to get interesting. The first in line to hack you to bloody beats is, butcher, is the butcher. He was once a real butcher, but I guess chopping up cows can eventually get boring. So, he started chopping up people, hence the name. I didn't take the butcher long to end up here. Nobody expected him to last longer than a few days, but he did. He's won his freedom and now he's a free man, wealthy and famous. Only in Madaran, of course. A, ma um, a word of warning, the butcher is strong as an ox and he loves axes, which means that hiding behind a shield is very a very bad idea. He'll split it in two bits. Unless you're really, really lucky. Uh, well, thank you for the warning. <laughs> Maybe later though, not right now. For right now, I think we're about time. We're about out of time for the day, so I will have to say goodbye. I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been the Age of Decanus. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video, but above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye!